Well, how y'all are, Septoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on... Hey, I got a new gun. Well, I don't have a new gun, but there's a new gun available to us. We have the SIG P320, and this is the Legion. Now, the Legion is a SIG 320 variant that SIG has recently come out with that's uh, designed and manufactured for the competition market. Uh, and it is a competition gun, buddy. It's got everything on it that you need. If you're considering shooting competition, you know, running around between the barrels and shooting at the little steel targets, this is a good gun to have. Uh, first of all, it's a standard 320 or M17 type pistol in every way, but it has quite a few enhancements on it. One of them is these sights that are manufactured by who? Dawson. Dawson. And they're uh, fully adjustable with a black aperture and dovetailed on metal. Uh, feeble optic side on it and it, it stands out pretty good I mean you know uh, it has the the polymer frame is reinforced with tungsten alloy or something of that nature but it's it actually has metal frame which has polymer uh, infused over it so that's kind of a new twist you know uh, normally in the past polymer frame guns that had metal in them had metal in the slideways only and that was about it uh, this one actually has a little cage of a thing and then the uh, lower is injection molded molded to it so I reckon it's got a shank in it like a paratrooper boot <laughs> okay <clears throat> it has ambidextrous slide release on it okay no external safety the magazine release is on the left side for your right thumb only <clears throat> it has lightning cuts on top of it <clears throat> if I can ever get over it um, it has this over here on the takedown it has this thumb rest thing that they refer to as a gas pedal um, you know I'm not sure <laughs> but it's kind of neat um, five cuts of Picatinny full-length Picatinny rail underneath of it finger rest trigger guard uh, target style straight trigger at about three and a half pounds of brake um, I didn't I didn't put a scale on it, don't have a trigger scale, but just from experience, I can tell you that it breaks at about three and a half pounds. I mean, it's got a pretty, and it's, it's pretty crisp, you know, it's got a fairly short reset, you know. Now, one of the cool things about this guy was when they set this gun up, they set it up to where you could easily change the slide operation spring and they did that by making it so that it uses standard 1911 long you know five and a half inch barrel 1911 springs so you can run down by your wolf spring or or uh, find you one in the parts box and stick it in there and find the actuation that you like this is fairly light this is almost as easy as as the little smith and wesson ez is Okay, I think it's got like a 12-pound spring in it or something. Uh, this one belongs to Ed. He bought it privately and uh, seems to like it pretty good. Uh, it's got a big belled magazine well on it to guide your magazine in there under stress. SIG does not recommend this thing for law enforcement use. It doesn't have an external safety. <clears throat> Basically, it has... I think they think it has too many bells and whistles on it. And to tell you the truth, as a guy that's carried a gun in, in law enforcement and criminal justice for 40 years, um, yeah, you need something a little bit more 
durable to something that's got, you know, fixed sights on it or, you know, it's it's got too many protrusions and so forth, it would become unhandy, you know, as a duty gun. Well, all right, with all that having been said, it's got the competition barrel, it's got a supported chamber, um, it's just a competition gun, you know, and it fits in the box. Okay, for those of you guys that know what fit in the box means, you know, it fits in the box. So I've got uh, a 21 round magazine here loaded with uh, $75 worth of 9 millimeter. So, oh, that goes in there pretty good. Well, I'm going to give this thing a try. I've got a. Uh, <laughs> magazine monopod. I've got a um, dirty bird up down there at 15 yards. Let's shoot a few and see how it actually shoots cold gun out of the box. Well, I'm on the paper. Uh, at this range, this gun shoots pretty good. Get that deer plug in there a little deeper. There we go. You shoot off this table and the, the sound bounds up off of it. You know, kind of loud. <laughs> All right, we be illin. Let's go down there and take a look at it. Oops, sweep the owner there. All right. Uh, that's 21 rounds. Okay, so, you know, a person that could really shoot a handgun good would probably do a lot better with it. <clears throat> That's 21 rounds all in the black. You know, if you were shooting at one of them silly wet targets, one of them cardboard, what is it, IDPA or? Uh, USPSA. USPSA, you know, AEIO and U. Uh, yeah, that gun shoots pretty good. How many rounds you fired this thing before I got it? Half a box. Yeah. So, as that, as that new barrel burnishes on in, you know, providing that you've got enough money to buy enough ammo to burnish it in, uh, it's going to it's gonna do pretty good. This is just a, you know, if you're a competition shooter, or you're, you're like me, you're a firefighter shooter. Uh, yeah, I bought one of these things when they first come out, the standard model. And it's still very impressive. But uh, it's an outstanding gun. I don't know what the retail value of this gun is. Don't know what these guys cost. Uh, it looks like it's about a $1,000, $900 gun. Of course, there's a lot of enhancements on it. All right, then. Well, that's about the size of it for, hey, we got to shoot a new gun today. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Uh, leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. If you don't, I'll just keep right on making content for you. Uh, let's keep being, keep on being careful during these times. I don't think it's as bad as they let on, but I think there is danger. Uh, be kind to everyone you meet. Yeah, I'm like David. I'm like old General Mathis, sir. Uh, be kind and courteous to everyone you meet, but have a plan. <laughs> uh, God bless everybody and join the NRA. We're really going to need them. They're the only game in town when it comes right down to it. All right, then. We'll see you all when we see you.